Welcome to all you Pisces. Welcome for this yearly forecast. This uh, yearly horoscope for the whole of 2018. For the ones who have got a sun in Pisces, a moon in Pisces or an ascendant uh, in Pisces. And I was so curious because so many planets are... Uh, you know, already at the end of this year and also next year going to shift into another sign. And um, I said, yeah, I'm going to do the videos now. It's a bit early, but I'm sure a lot of people will uh, welcome it to know what's going on for you Pisces. Of course, this is not tailor-made. This is not uh, the detailed tailor-made reading for you, but it can give you a little bit of a gist there, uh, a little bit of uh, what the energies are going to be for the Pisces. So... Um, big shift is happening that is happening of course is Uranus Uranus in May is going to shift uh, into Taurus and for the Pisces that's good news why because Taurus is, is um, earth and Pisces is water and those two elements go well together so um, uh, that is already very good news because that Uranus energy was a very which is a very free loving energy which is a bit erratic with what which wants to break down the barriers um it happens in, in a quite social house for you which is the third house so 2018 is going to be um social yes but with ups and downs so you probably will have moments or weeks for instance where it's going to be very hectic very communicative very and then a couple of weeks that maybe you're, you're not going to see uh, any friend or any or, or, or almost um, nobody there. That's although Pisces do like that, don't they? To have a bit of me time and a bit of, you know, when everything comes in too, too harsh uh, and to to um, at a high speed to have some me time and some downtime. But this Uranus is also in a trine with Saturn. So both Saturn and Uranus uh, are shifting into Earth signs. Again, very good for you Pisces. And Saturn does that in the house of friends. Now, and, and of aspirations and of um, goals for the future. Normally Saturn in the 11th house, so without the trine that I'm talking about. Normally Saturn in the 11th house is being a bit limited when it comes to your goals or some aspirations you, you have to... Um, um, you know, they, they are not practical or not possible or some friends, uh, you know, the amount of friends can just uh, uh, diminish, although the quality can, can rise because of Saturn. Um, all these things are going to be less um, challenging because of the trine with Uranus. So there's a very beautiful energy going on with Saturn and Uranus in your two communication sector houses which is the 11th and the third house so what does it mean for the and especially especially very very social energy is around august and september time but throughout the whole year you feel quite at at ease uh with other people and with the people that you connect with um on a level of friends on a level of your environment so um the trine here, Saturn is about the old and about structure and Uranus is about the new and about excitement. And when these two are in, in, in beautiful alignment, it means that you're going to have those two together. So there could be old friends uh, that are good that you keep and uh, there's some new coming in because of your in the environment that you're working in or that you're living in, um, etc, etc. So it's, it's it's and lively, but also familiar uh, and familiar and new stuff coming in when it comes to the way that you think is going to be totally uh, liberating you. Um, because sometimes we can have quite rigid systems of thinking. We only think that and we don't want to look bro a bit broader. Uranus in the third house is certainly going to break that open for you. And you're going to really be able to think out of the box and all of the other areas of life are going to benefit from that. So um, really, really good when it comes to social life, really, really good when it comes to uh, friends and aspirations and doing new stuff and doing old stuff at the same time. So, um, 
And of course, when you're single, for instance, you could meet someone through friends, through the internet, through connecting with other people, through groups. Um, so that would be very, very interesting. If you are already uh, in, in a connection with someone, there is like this, um, uh, this change here with uh, the Neptune in your sign. Because Neptune in your own sign can trigger other people not really knowing what, what you're all about. Not even the fact that you're trying to be as clear as you want, um, whether you do this consciously or unconsciously, still other people could misunderstand you. That is less going to happen in 2018. So on a social level, but also on, on love with the love relationship, this is a bit of magic going on here. Why do I talk of... So everyone is going to have a little bit of more magic in their lives. But for everyone, it's a bit different. So for you, it's about you. Um, you being inspiration for others, uh, basically. That's, that's what it boils down to. And also for your friends and for people who uh, connect with you. Um, and that's the bit of magic that you have. That you can be a bit of inspiration of, in, in someone else's life. And why is that? Because there's Neptune in your sign, which is in itself already very inspirational and very spiritual, but sometimes a bit misty, is now receiving a lot of good energy from other planets, from Pluto in Capricorn, uh, that's a sextile, and in your 11th house, or, so that house of aspirations and friends, and the 9th house, Jupiter, a trine, which is, um, the 9th house is a very thinking house as well, spiritual house, a house of your um, convictions, opinions, but also the house of other of, uh, people from far side. So, um, that you, foreign, foreigners, people from other countries. So, it, this, that is the magic that is going to happen in your life, is that you get inspired by others, but you also do inspire other people. And for a Piscean, that's a very beautiful thing, uh, because when you can be... It's all in water signs here, that Jupiter in the ninth and that Neptune in the first. And this is really magical spiritual energy. So, and connecting with all there is, you know, some, some synchronicities could happen for you as well. And I know that Pisces do like that very much. And without you having to do the effort. So, great connections coming your way. Um... And uh, almost healing, you know, Neptune and Chiron in your first house and Jupiter in the ninth, ninth almost kind of healing connections with people who have a to are either from a different culture or totally having another, another background. So you could be quite, um, you know, finding a lot of meaning there. Uh, for some others, it could be studies, so that you, um, because of the studies that you do, because of, uh, and it, it's more studies like, um, you know, college, university, that kind of thing, um, because that's a ninth house, it's the higher mind, and you could really, it could be, be really a magical time in that respect, that it, it gives you a very good feeling, which is a bit a weird explanation because, you know, how can books and a study or, you know, in a practical way you can study things as well, um, how can it make you more feeling good, basically? Well, it can. Then um, on a financial level, I haven't really talked about the financial level. There's not really your financial houses are not really activated now. Uranus is in fact... Um, gone from your second house so it should improve when it comes to those ups and downs if you are someone who had last year a bit ups and downs with finances that should go away with Uranus not being there in that second house anymore so quite a Piscean kind of year for you in 2018 and I wish you all the luck with it and all the best of many many blessings for all your dear Pisceans thank you so much for watching um, have a reading book a reading if you're interested for a personal reading and I see you next time bye bye